Are you checking? I just I just hit live. I just hit live. Did you hit live? I think so. DND, is that what you just put it on? I did. I did. Yeah? Because, you know, people call me all the time. Right, of course. All the time. Everybody knows that. Yeah, it says green room. We it don't does. have a subject. And we have, uh, we have some we color. Have sound. We have some, we, we have some visual confirmation of audio. Right. Not that that means anything. Right. We're waiting for the real confirmation. The real one? The real one. Oh. You're going to read the intro today? What did you get? Uh, a thumb up. Nice. A thumb Thank up. you. But You're he learning. did it twice, so it's You're thumbs learning. up. Oh. So one thumb up twice? I, I'm going to continue to call it thumbs up. Okay. So we're going to have to look you into you. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to do me. Don't you worry it's about that. It's one of those English things. American yeah. English. Efforting. Are you ready? Efforting. Has, okay. has anybody heard of efforting as a verb? That's what I want to know in the comments. Yeah. Come on, chat. It's a no. <laughs> Although you can invent Linda, words. Oh, Linda all just said yes. She said, I can hear you, not that no, I've heard of she, efforting. I, <laughs> We're going to the green room. We're going out of the green room. Okay, let's We're gonna go do out of the green room. All right. An intro video of some kind. gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to, what is it, episode number 22 of the 22. absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Uh, today is Wednesday, August 16th, 2023, and we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself. What have I said today? The one and only mayor of Meatville, Mr. Luke Jacobs. Luke, hey, haven't seen Mr. you in forever. Eric, I, it's been since We're, the green room, I think. Since the green room, yeah. yeah. Which was a disaster. If you missed it, just go back a little bit. Or don't. Because, or don't. Unless you want to see a disaster. I was guess. it a disaster? No, no, it wasn't. It was never a disaster. Never a no. disaster. Uh, anything you want to say off the top of your head uh, before I tell you what we're going to do this week? Uh, I don't think. I don't think so. Are you listening to me? Yeah. <laughs> this week, we're going to do weekly specials. I was Brats thinking I missed week. something that I was. You didn't. To, miss that it. was a cue for me to do something. I don't know. Well, you Stand missed rehearsal. Right? Local product of the week. We have one. Yes, we, we do. have one. Uh, special upcoming days. A winner of last week's contest and a new contest for this week. Let us dive right in. I thought you who, were going to say, should we do another, uh, isn't that the part where you say, should we do no, another contest? No, it's obvious now. I'll oh. get there. I'll oh. get there. Okay. Would you like to use your line? Are we going to do I another, remembered it Are we going to do another contest this week? Yes. <laughs> I remembered it this week. <laughs> Absolutely. For someone who's just joined us, may not know. Like where, two minutes in? Where are we? Uh, we are at we, Jacob's we Meat might Market. New Beautiful. Viewers. Oh, really? You yeah, think so? Brand new. I can see Does that. that happen? Yeah. I yeah. saw uh, an old childhood friend of mine was on last week, Brett Wigman. So uh, this is a uh, uh, never mind. Brett, Brett, you say? Brett, yeah. Brett, hello, yeah. Brett. Yeah. Uh, that was last week. He's probably oh, not. Was... He probably didn't care for it much, so he's probably not going to tune in this week. Last week's episode was fantastic. It you was had the absolutely. Entire, uh, Ten percent of the family was there, <laughs> at least. And you're not anybody's favorite uncle. What's going uh, yeah, on? Yeah, I, I wasn't going to bring that up. I was going to bring it up. I know you were. I got a behind the scenes look. You know how Luke is. If you know Luke, you know how he is. Everyone in the family is the same way. They all planned it that way. To, sit, to not say your name and to each one have a different name. They planned that? They planned that in advance. And they are to brilliant. have a different name? Yes, they're brilliant. They're brilliant. Yeah. I, I was thinking when the first one said whatever name was said, I was thinking, oh, I wish we would have made each one say a different name. All right. They were way Except ahead of me. Except for Luke. Way ahead Uncle of me. Luke, yes. Where are we? I'm sorry, I missed We're it. <laughs> We are uh, in the middle of Appleton, Wisconsin. Beautiful Appleton, I've Wisconsin. I've heard of that place. Jacob's Meat Market. Jacob's Meat Market. Yes. Uh, but it's not just a meat market, it's not? I, I, as you know. You're stealing my lines. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Catching on. What do you mean it's not just a well, meat market? Well, we sell a multitude of other things. Multitude. Uh, actually, Jim's Produce just brought some beautiful produce in. I think he brought some sweet corn, some uh, fresh tomatoes um, for the for the week. So when I come in and there's a shopping cart full of corn, right? that's from Jim's Produce. Right. Right. We didn't shot, we didn't roll it over to pick and save and then roll it back. Oh, you didn't. With the those days are over. Cart, right? <laughs> yeah. it, and the uh, tomatoes yeah. are also. Yes. Yeah, those yes, tomatoes go quickly. They do. They go quickly. It's BLT they're... season. If you don't grow them at your house, I mean, these are the next best thing. Uh, so more than just meat. Is more the than point. just meat. Yeah, more than <laughs> meat. 
<laughs> that should be a tagline. Yeah, More it should be, meat. because yeah. it's in your name. It, the meat market. It seems like it's, all you get is meat. But right. the, that's a subject for a different program, I is think. Okay. Uh, you got any news? You uh, have news. It's I, right there on the piece oh, of paper. Is it? Oh. <laughs> Thank you for this little cheat sheet here. You're quite uh, we are continuing the contest for the big green egg. How's the medium going? big green egg. Oh, it's getting full. I, I noticed. It's getting full I with entries. In it. Yes, I June need to actually June told me, don't put more. your hand in there. Excuse me. <laughs> right. She said you couldn't tamper with it. I said, oh, well, I didn't want to, but now that you, you can, said I can't. You can, but uh, we prefer you don't. I won't. Right. But right. yes, there's lots of entries down there. Yes, definitely. In the grill itself. That's right. Cool. So you buy four brats, and you get an entry into win a medium big green egg. Uh, the, the company is called Big Green Egg, so that's why it's a medium-sized Big they Green Egg. They have different-sized Big Green Egg. Correct. Okay. Correct. This one's uh, so a medium. This one is a medium one with, with a stand and everything, so you can wheel it, it looks around. It's quite nice. It's beautiful, yes. Um, uh, so we teamed up with Ace Hardware to, uh, to, to put this contest on. Now um, when you say Ace Hardware, you mean the people up on Northland? Correct. Our Ace Hardware. Our, not, yes. Not headquarters. Not this headquarters, the local no. people. Right, right. They're, they still are the, uh, the place for the helpful hardware folks. Yeah, they're nice folks. Yes. They're nice folks. Yes. That's their you, tagline. You apparently know that? Apparently you didn't know I that. I did know that. I you just did. I'm going to skip right over it. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, so you could win that. That's the grand prize. Um, the second prize is a, a year of brats, a year supply of brats. For, so four brats every other week for a full year. For a full year? Yes. So 26 weeks of Almost brats. Almost better than a big green egg. Right. Yeah. Right. So a big green um, egg you have to clean if you use it. Yes. Yeah. yeah you don't have to clean the brats when you, when you get no, them. No, you just cook them and eat them. Right. Yeah. Right. Continue, please. Okay, and then the third prize um, is a $50 Jacob's Meat Market gift card. Oh, for this store right here? This store, yes. That Jacob's not Meat just Market. A meat market. Right, yeah, more than meat. More than, not just meat? We'll have to play the tape back. More than meat. More than meat. Yeah. More than It rains better yeah. than, sure, <laughs> sure. We'll go with that. Okay, is that it for that one? Now, I, I do so, have yeah. a question. There's lots of entries down in the grill. Yes. How are you going to pick an entry? The grill is in the way. You're going to get a long pair of tweezers or something? No, we'll take the grate off. The, that's great. That's a very simple solution. You're not going to play with that, huh? Just take the grate off. Yeah. All right, moving right along. <laughs> How would uh, you do it? I'd take the grate off. A little tweezers, but I didn't apparently, know you knew or something. That. I, I didn't know you knew that. Well, so. what if so? If the tweezers, you could only fit so far in there. What if they I'm, I'm entered not last week? I'm talking about little tiny tweezers. They have very large tweezers. Those aren't tweezers. What are they? Tongs? No, these are tweezers. I'll bring them in next week. Yeah, Google I'll, it. I'll, I'll, Google, I'll somebody Google it for us, would you? There's more news. People more news, are, okay. People are really anxious for the next piece of news. <laughs> yes, they are. Uh, we are still looking for a part-time cashier on uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays, um, and also a part-time meat counter, which is not somebody You've that counts the meat. Meat counter right there. Last time we had a meat counter oh, a meat position counter. available, they Person. thought that you know, you have to meat? be able to, how, how high do you have to be able to count? Well, it makes sense. Right. Right. Put some effort meat into Meat department it. worker. How about that? Meat counter worker. Sure. Meat counter team member. Sure. Someone yeah, well, to work behind the meat counter. Yes, and, and serve the, the great customers that work. <coughs> and when they're working, do they do what you do? Because I've seen you work uh, behind they, the meat counter. <laughs> uh, we're looking for workers, not oh, just okay. somebody that does what I not just, do or don't do. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Yes, yes. Uh, so that, that position is uh, Wednesday through Saturday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days a week. Four days, yeah, four, four days. days a week only. That's part time. That's part time. Yes. And one and a half days. They have to have a smile them. on their face, though. Smile on their face? Yeah. Can it be painted on? They can, yeah. Fake, <laughs> okay. fake it. Yeah, we, we accept fake smiles. I'll just leave so that. They, <laughs> so they uh, just come on down if you'd like to apply. Uh, come on down and ask for an application right at the cash register. You've got them right here? We do, oh, yes. That's convenient. We have blank ones that you can fill out. Otherwise, we also have uh, already filled out ones. That you can just sign use your name to. Like. Sure, sure. <laughs> Today's Wednesday. You know what that means? Uh, yes. What? Brat Fry Wednesday. Brat Fry Wednesday. Yes. Today's brats are pork and chili cheese. Chili cheese. I yeah. might be in a chili cheese brat mood, mood today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Might be. There aren't any uh, macaroni um, noodles in there. Just so you know. I wasn't expecting them. I was expecting chili and cheese. Oh. So. Good that there in, are. In your chili, you don't put noodles? No. Oh, okay. No. No. But I'm not from Wisconsin. I don't know what you people do. <laughs> weekly That's specials. Up to us. Weekly specials. Yes. First. Yes. Tell me, Joe. Ah, uh, all right. Do you know where an electric cord shops? An electric cord? Yeah. Where? At an outlet mall. Oh. 
more. Of course. Of course. Of course. That yes. makes sense. Yeah, it does If you make gave sense. me two more seconds, I'd have gotten it. Okay. <laughs> Next Who? time. Who? Next Who? time. Who? Who is the laziest person in a Chinese restaurant? I, I'm not sure. Susan. Susan. Oh, yeah. Not Susie. Susan. 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 Yeah, lazy Susan. That lazy Susan in the middle. Yeah, I yeah. thought that. Struck me for Did they have a... Do they have those in a Chinese restaurant? It depends on the Chinese restaurant, but the, the big ones where you go with a family and you sit at a table, a round table with eight, and the food goes on the Lazy Susan in the middle so that everybody can share. Never been there, have you? Uh, I have, but I've never seen a Lazy Susan in the middle. Well, you're going to the wrong Chinese restaurant. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> Which one do you go to? The one with the Lazy Susan. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to reach or ask. Could you pass it? No, just spin. Yeah, just spin. spin. Mailing but list. not too fast, otherwise it falls off, right? They have governors in the Lazy oh, Susan. <laughs> wow. This sounds like a really fancy... Anyway, anyway moving mailing right list. along. Something mailing about list. a mailing list. Yes, yes. Uh, right on our website, uh, you can go to jacobsmeatmarket.com. For what? Just if you have nothing better to do. Okay. And what can I you do? You can go whatever? there at 2 in the morning. You can go there at 2 in the afternoon. Is it open 24-7? It is wow. open 24-7, 365. Wow. What about leap years? Yes. Yes. 364 then. Okay. No, wrong way, but it's okay. Seeing if you were listening to me, actually. I'm not. Yes, I know. I've already forgotten what you said. Okay. But you were talking about mailing lists. Yes. Uh, Why so would somebody right want to be side, on your mailing list? On the right-hand side of our uh, our website, on any page that you go to, um, is our, our mailing list you can sign up for. So you get uh, two weekly emails. Two? Yes, one on Sunday. For the Sunday, price of one. For the price of none. For the price of none. Right, right. So uh, on Sundays, we send out our weekly um uh, lunch menu, which is served Monday through Friday, oh, okay. 11 to 2. Um, and then on uh, third, uh, Wednesday mornings at that 6 o'clock. That was this morning. That was this morning. It was, you're right. What did you get I in did, your email? I did get an email. It yeah. was the weekly specials. Weekly specials. And uh, also a little ad about uh, your help wanted. Oh, so yeah. I guess I knew that in advance. Okay. Yeah. And oh, so you opened it and you read it. I did it. open it. Okay. I read every word. Really? Every word. Some what words are What was the bolded. joke in there? Uh, so what that's a do you that's call? Another, okay. A number that won't sit still. If you open your email, you should know. Oh. <laughs> I did open it. Sure you did. It's a, a Roman. That's not a Roman numeral. It is a Roman numeral. Is Roman. it? It's Roman. Roman, yeah. Okay. Roaming Roman. Roman. Roman numeral, yes. So, yeah, you get jokes. Yes. Twice a week. Yeah, and they're this good. They're this good. So Repeatable. Repeatable, yes. Not right. memorable, but repeatable. <laughs> Obviously. So the mailing list. Yes. People should sign up. Yes, definitely. Lots of people are signed up. They are. And one of the benefits... We have over 2,000 email lists. Three. Th over 3,000 3, emails. The, one of the benefits of being on the mailing list is that you do receive the weekly specials every Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. and you don't have to watch this show. Right. Because we're about to repeat everything that's in your weekly mail. Is that a benefit? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> well, you can watch... Speaking of viewership... You don't have to pay attention. That's right. That's a plus in my like you. <laughs> exact what? <laughs> We're gonna do these specials or what? Uh, let's do it. Yeah. What's your first special? Though? All right. The first special is uh, chicken. No, oh. pork chops. You go where I. I saw you pushing the button, so I was going to go chops. somewhere else. Yeah, chops. I could do that. So we have a bone and pork chop special going right now. A uh, dollar ninety nine a pound for regular cut or stuffed, and then two ninety nine a pound for the thick grill cut pork chops. Seems like a good price. Yes, definitely. I now think these are, are not cooked. These are not like the smoked pork chops. Correct. These have to be cooked. Yes, they okay. do. Well, I mean, it's recommended yeah, that you, you cook, cook them. them. Yeah, yeah, right. Otherwise. Don't, don't say well. Say yes, they must yes. be cooked. Yes, they must be cooked. <laughs> they must be cooked. Uh, but that's a good price. Yes, definitely. And I'm looking at the stuffed ones right there. You are. What are they stuffed with? They, it looks like stuffing. Bread stuffing. Yes. Bread stuffing. Yes, looks definitely. Like stuffing. Sage and onion. Sage and onion. That sounds good. Right. In Thanksgiving, one of my favorite things is the stuffing. So yeah. there, you go. there you go. There you go. Why wait? Right, Thanksgiving wait? in August. Sure, why not? Sure. Right here at Jacob's Meat Market. Right. We're we moving along. Uh, next, we have the Jacob's Own Ring Liver Sausage for five sixty nine a pound. I looked at that before the show started. Is it just a liverwurst? Yes. Oh, so it is a ring liverwurst. It's a ring liver. Yes. Yep. It's a ring worst. liver. Worst. Worst is, is the there a difference? Word for sausage, so. Is, so there's no difference. It Correct. is a liverwurst. Yes. And the difference between liverwurst and Braunschweiger? Is the Braunschweiger is a little bit coarser and it's smoked. Smoked. And it's also in a stick. Right, different shape. You know, it's about, yeah. Oh, I've seen, shape. you don't, maybe not, don't have it, but I've seen liverwurst in a stick as well. Sure. But yours is in a ring. Correct. 
And the nice thing about coming here is you can buy just a chunk of it. You can buy half a oh, ring. You don't have you to get the whole, whole ring. ring. Correct. Oh. We encourage you uh, to buy the whole ring, but you don't have to, especially if you're gonna be just you know buying a whole ring and then wasting half of it. So I put liverwurst on sandwiches. What do you do? do what it? else can you do with? Uh, I like it on a Ritz cracker. On a Ritz cracker. Yeah. Do you have to cook I it? I love Ritz crackers. <laughs> do you have to cook it? Uh, no, you don't have to cook it. Don't um, have to cook. It. Uh, can you, you cook it? You can cook it. Can, uh, a lot of people uh, just they cut the casing off and then they fry it in a frying pan. Oh, that sounds so good. So fried liverwurst. Um, I tried it one time and I didn't really care, you for, didn't it. care for it. Yeah, it's a lot of effort to but just... But you have no taste. Moving Correct. right along. Correct. Moving right along. Uh, we have Widmer's Brick Cheese for seven forty nine a pound. Brick Cheese? What is it? Now comes it's, in a brick? That's a seven there. I don't know if you knew that or not because it doesn't have a little... That looks like a seven to me. It does. Okay. Right. It doesn't okay. look like Perfect. a European one. It's a seven. Seven forty nine. You're saying? Seven. Is that a pound? Per pound. Yes. Per pound. That's the LB. Well, getting back to. I'm not really sure how LB is short for pound. Oh, we'll find out. We'll find Will out. Will we? Yeah. Maybe somebody can Google it quick. While we're, Google it while and we're tell us. Show. Yeah. We won't pay any attention, but you can tell. Right. Us. Right. What is brick cheese? It's not a cheddar cheese. It's Correct. not a jack cheese. Right. It's a. It's a more of a mild buttery cheese. Oh. Is what it is. I hear it's great for melting. Yes, great for melting. Great it's great for, for snacking. I like. I love oh, it really? just on a. Yeah, on a, on a Ritz cracker. Do you have well. to melt it before you snack on it? No. No. You just eat just it cold. It melt in your mouth? Not in your sandwich. <laughs> M&M's? Uh, uh, so that's a good Well, oh, you knew that tagline, huh? But sure. you didn't know the Ace one? I do know the Ace one. Oh, what is what it again? The, the home of the helpful hardware man. Something like that. No. What is it? It's called Helpful Hardware Folks. Oh, Folks. Yes, because it's a Wisconsin type thing, I think. I don't know what it was in California. I'm going to say you're man. right. I'm going to say you're right. Man. Anyway. You're gonna come, say what? come in for what your brick that? cheese. I'm going to say you're right. I already said it. Re <laughs> rewind it. Okay. Uh, next, we have a fresh jumbo bone-in chicken breast for two seventy-nine a pound. I think I'm looking at those too. I'm surprised jumbo. that they're uh, so jumbo. A pair of breasts. Right. They're together. That's they a lot together. of meat on there. Right. Can you? You have to buy both. Uh, both halves. Yeah. Um, I guess you could buy a half one if you like. If you don't have a big appetite or don't have a. Oh, but the point of then you should get a chicken breast. That, a boneless, right? Correct. If you just want one. Right. This is you're gonna you're gonna roast that somehow. Right. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. There's so a lot you, of meat. You they're about the three to they're about actually yeah, about three to four large. pounds. Yeah. Yes. Surprise. They're from I Dolly was, Parton's chicken farm. I don't understand that. Could you explain it? No. <laughs> Good price. Though. If you don't understand that, you got you got. <laughs> Good price. Anyway, where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> uh, it's Jacob's own stuffed pinwheels. <clears throat> we have some great, uh, great options for pinwheels this week. Um, great. Options. It's been yes, yes. It's been a, it's been a, become a popular item here at Jacob's Meat Market. Um, so it's a flank steak run through a tenderizer, just like our London broils, and then we lay it flat, and then we put either spinach and feta, or we put bacon and cheddar. Okay, I've seen. In this, and then I've we seen these being up. made. Yes, they look uh, like a well, put together. I guess right, I should right. say they uh, they kind of look like a cinnamon roll, like you would picture a cinnamon roll. But instead of the uh, set, of, set of bread and cinnamon and gooey stuff, it's got meat and spinach and feta cheese. Yeah, so it's yeah, basically so the same thing. Completely different. <laughs> anyway, when will it's they? It's like a meat. When cinnamon will they roll. be in your uh, meat counter? Uh, they should be. At, they should be in there by noon today. By noon today. Yeah, because they are popular. Correct. Very popular. Yes. Now you have. The you can always. You feta? can always order ahead as well if you know how many you want. Um, you can always order ahead, and we can uh, have it ready for you. What's the and phone number? We can. <laughs> What's the phone number? again? Once. It's nine two zero seven three three one zero three one. But don't call during this podcast, though, because we have the phone off the hook, so it won't distract you. Me? Yes. Or them? Or yes. you? Yes. Us. Okay. Pinwheels. Hey, buddy. Pinwheels. Yes. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine a pound. They're about typically about a half a pound a piece. Give or take. Give or take. Mm -hmm. How do you cook them? Uh, you can pan fry them. Oh, so that's or easy. Or you could grill them. Um, I've heard some people doing them in the George Foreman if they have one. Uh, grilling them. Do they, do they fall apart easily? No. Uh, so they're tied. They're so they're tied. So they're rolled up and then they're tied so that they won't unravel on the grill. So, uh, but uh, before eating it, you should get rid of that string. Is it poultry string? Uh, I mean, it adds a little fiber if you want, if you like fiber. Moving right along. Yes. Uh, Jacob's own sweet bourbon beef jerky, seventeen ninety nine a pound. What do you mean by, I know what beef jerky is, and mm -hmm. I know what sweet bourbon is. Mm -hmm. How do you put all those things together? All both of those things together. All both of them? All both uh, of them. Just magic. Meat a little, magic. A little effort, maybe? Meat magic <laughs> and a little effort, yeah. So, uh, do you make your own jerky? 
We do, yes. With sweet bourbon? Yeah. Obviously. That's Obviously. the Jacob's own part. That's the Jacob's own sweet bourbon. Right. So how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you make jerk? Jerky is dried meat? It is. Okay. It is. So uh, we make extruded, it's called. Oh, so extruded. it is, it's ground. Um, and then we add the seasonings oh, to it, and then okay. we mix it up. Gotcha. Um, and then we, uh, it's, it's called extruding, but um, we really just run it through our stuffer, and then run a piece out, and then we put it on a, a, on a jerky tray, and then we put it in our smokehouse, and then we smoke it overnight. Is there special trays for jerky? Yes. It's a jerky tray. Jerky well, uh, yes. And about how much do you get for a pound? Uh, they're usually uh, about 10 sticks per pound. Okay. But I can just buy two sticks if I Right. Can. You can buy just one if you want. Now, are they sticks? These are kind of like little sheets, aren't they? Right, right. But you call like them sheets, a stick. Of, sheets of meat sheets is what they've sheets been called. Sheets of meat. Oh, yeah, I've heard that somewhere. Have you heard that? Somewhere in the comments. Yeah, somewhere sheets of meat. Where are we going? We uh, went from Turkey, we're going somewhere else. Next. To, that one. Oh, uh, <laughs> I almost forgot that you were even. Oh, it's six. a big plus, plus thing right there. Plus. plus. Yes, you added something new. Not just me, the plus size. That's the plus. <clears throat> plus, plus. An, an extra, extra special. Item. Yeah, yes, an extra, yes, extra special, we have special. Uh, bone in country style pork ribs for $1.49 a pound. Seems like a great price. Oh, it's an excellent price. You're going to have to remind me because, as you know, I pay no attention to you. Correct. What is country style? Country style, uh, th so they're little chunks, they're about half pound chunks okay. instead of a rack. Uh -huh. It's country style, so you can. You know, you can put them in the slow cooker. Um, you can grill them. My brother uh, likes to grill them. Um, and then just, you know, you can and, put them on a plate. If for only them. I had a big green egg, even right. a medium big green egg. Right. Yeah. Well, start buying some brats and you might get some and entries. I believe I'm ineligible. Where did you see that? In my head. Oh, okay. in, in your what? In my head. Head. <laughs> so good price on where, that. Where are you from, y'all? <laughs> Today, who knows? Uh, about uh, how much a pound? Uh, they're $1.49 a pound. They're about a half pound a piece. Per rib, Give or take. Or Correct. per piece. Per piece. One piece is the one rib. Sure. Oh, okay. So two ribs. It has a lot of meat. It's about it? a pound. It's about a pound. Is yes. that a meal? Yeah. Yeah, I would say. It's a pretty inexpensive meal, if you ask me. But you I think ask so me. too. Uh, let me ask you: Would that be an inexpensive meal? Yes, sir. It would be absolutely. Let's see if I've cleared all these things. I have. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you? I'm I ready. think you should do it this time. I don't. No, I can't. I think Elizabeth uh, did a great job last week. Yeah, but show, show that's doing, her how that's it's doing what? There you go. Brats of the week. Brats of the week. She did it longer, you know. She, she did I know, the whole song. I know, I know. But and she clapped. But uh, hog casing. The, the regular casing. Correct. But no pork inside. Correct. Mostly, usually a brat is a pork brat. Correct. But this one, you take the pork out and put the chicken in. Take the pork out, <laughs> slip the chicken in. Yes. But yes. Same Before spices. it crosses the road. Oh, yeah, good one. Anyway. Same spices. Same spices, yes. They're actually uh, a little bit healthier for you because we don't put as many spices in them. Uh, Are the as, spices as many, unhealthy? As many, pardon? Are the spices unhealthy? Uh, no, but a lot of people are on like lower salt diets and oh. all that sort of stuff. Um, so we have, uh, um, so lower uh, lower salt content maybe. And and it's, and it's made with uh, dark meat chicken, so chicken thighs. Oh, uh, that which are would Which be are nice. leaner than the pork that we use for our pork uh, So they're low sodium chicken broths? Sure. Lower. Lower, Lower yes. than pork brats. Where else, where else are we going? Yes. Uh, we also have chili cheese brats. Are those, are those the chili well. cheese brats that are on today's menu? They are, oh, absolutely. See, that's a sign. Right. It's a sign that are I should have one of those. Are you seeing a hint today. here? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. Okay. But you do that every week, don't you? Correct. Yeah. Correct. It's it's nice to do, do like a try before you buy. You know, if you're going to buy a dozen brats and you don't really know how the chili cheese brats or the extra flavored brats are. Have it for um, lunch. Yeah. Have it for see lunch. If you, like if you don't like it, then you don't then get it. Yeah. And knowing is half the battle. Half? Do you know full, fully half the battle? Yeah. Do you know who said that? No. Who? G.I. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know that? He spoke. He did. Are we done with these? <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to be. We have to be. We've yes. gone on long enough. Oh, look at that. Oh, I now My see. My brother-in-law. Did you see that? He commented. What did he say? Well played, Luke. Which part? So he's a toy salesman. Oh, that one. Yes. <laughs> well, oh, we're not. We're just gonna skip right over that, huh? Okay. Don't Sorry, you, Kirk. You can. You can plug it. my show. Plug your brother all you like. It's the first time he showed up. No, he's been <laughs> here he been before. Here? Yeah, absolutely. I GI Joe, and there he is. Right. And now you know. Who's the guest of the week? GI <laughs> Joe. Uh, we. <laughs> We have Barbara here from Milo's Poultry Farm. Poultry Farm. Farm. And yes. you just said, why did the chicken cross the road? Right. Yeah. I've got some jokes. You do? I have some jokes. I sure hope so. What kind I of tree... I hope they're better than the first ones. 
No, they're not. No. <laughs> what kind of tree does a chicken grow on? Uh, what kind of tree? I'm not sure what kind a of tree. A pole tree. A pole a tree. tree. Oh. And what type of pole tree is good at dancing? Yeah, I'm going there. You can say it. Which one? A twerky. Oh. <laughs> Where did you think I was going? What do you call a, a super successful poultry farmer? I'm not sure. A chick magnate. A chick what? Magnate. 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 Okay. Because okay. it's successful. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got we, it. Oh, well, not me, but somebody will be right back. Hopefully. If I can find the button. Yes, now the microphones are alive, but that's not Luke and Eric. No, let's put some uh, Milo's Poultry Farm up there. All right, we are back on the show, BSTV, um, with Barbara from yes. Milo's Milo's Poultry Farm. Yes. Thank you very yep. much for Thank coming you. by. You're welcome. Um, so where are you located? How far did you have to drive So today? Uh, we're located in Bondewell, okay. Sobel, 43 minutes maybe. Okay, yeah. give Thank or take, back. 43. Give or take. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, um, and we sell your uh, organic eggs right here. That's um, exciting. Yes, it is. Very yeah. exciting. We've been selling them for years and years and years, and I'm really surprised at how many we sell each week. Um, we order them from Vern's Cheese, um, and uh, they're, they're so delicious. You can tell the difference between uh, a regular egg and an organic Milo's yep. egg. Yep. Um, so can you tell us uh, when uh, when did Milo's Poultry Farm begin? It started back in 2004. I started with just a few flock of chickens. Um, he was fascinated with chickens and any kind of birds, and it grew from there. Okay, okay, awesome. Um, is uh, Milo's Poultry Farm uh, organic? It is organic. Um, okay. Since 2018, um, they were strictly organic. And then due to customer demand, they asked for the GMO organic um, okay. brown eggs and then also the non-conventional or the conventional brown eggs as okay. well. Mm -hmm. Are they all brown? They're all brown, yeah. Okay. And what makes it brown? Well, the chicken maybe? I don't know. The chicken makes, a, makes <laughs> it brown? I don't know. I don't know it makes okay. it brown, yeah. Maybe the feed, I'm not really sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you know why the chicken crossed the road? Um, well, was the road there before the chicken or was the chicken there before the road? Mm, I think the chicken was there after the road. Well, what was first, the egg or the chicken? That's what I just asked. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, was the egg there first or was the chicken there first? Yes. That's what I thought. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, how many Dave, farms... Can, Dave, can you help us out here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Help us out in the chat, would you? Um, how many farms does Milo's... Um, pull from? He has 25 farms, family farms throughout the state of Wisconsin. Um, oh. He actually has a waiting list for farmers to join really? his production. Yeah, and so he's 25, at 25 farms. That's a lot. 25 farms, yeah. Holy man. Yeah. Do you know how many eggs they produce? So they, so they process every week 35,000 um, um, dozen of eggs. 35,000 35, dozen, dozen of the eggs. Yes. Holy man, that's a yeah, lot of eggs. That is a lot of eggs. Wow, where are these all sold at? So they're sold at retail. Um, people can come to their farm and buy them. And okay. then also we sell them, the Fresh Project sells them at the Shano Farmers Market. Okay, yeah. okay. Wow, that's awesome. They must have a lot of outlets for 35,000 dozen eggs. They really eggs. do, yeah. Even Feed America has them. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. I was working at the warehouse today and they had cases of Milo's poultry eggs coming okay. in from Feeding America. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Do they have, because they're organic, and I, I'm going kind of off script here and maybe you don't know the answer to this, do they have a longer shelf life of um, a regular traditional egg, do you know? I think they do. You think because they do? Okay. if you look at the shelf lives from the eggs from the in the grocery store and look at his eggs, I think his eggs last almost two months. There's a good two wow. months on that on there. Yeah. Wow. On the dates. That's really nice because I it sometimes is. buy eggs and, and I use two of them or four of them or six of them or whatever and then by the time that I go to use the other six, 
Uh, Got to boil expired. them. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Time, time for boiled eggs. Yeah, yeah, hard boiled eggs, <laughs> yeah. yep. Um, so they are distributed uh, at retail outlets as well mm -hmm. as, um, uh, so we buy them from Vern's Cheese. Okay. Um, and we buy at least two boxes a week. Okay. Um, there's cases. what, 15? 15, there's 15, 15, case, 15, 15 dozen 15. in a case. Yep. Okay, yep. okay. So, so we buy one less than 1% of what you guys yeah. sell each week. That's oh my math. gosh, that so, is, you know. yeah, right, right. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, so, I mean, that, that is just an incredible, I, I didn't realize that Milo's was so big. Yeah, so it really big. is. Um, when I called him to see if he would, if he would come on here, I said, um, you know, if you want to, if you want to check out the, the, the podcast, you know, here's the link and stuff like that. And he said, um, uh -huh. I'm Amish and I don't have right. uh, I don't have the internet, so so yep. uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to, to see what your podcast is all about. Or anything no, like but that, what but. I'm going to do is I'll show him. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Is it legal to, for you to show him? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. It'll be all right. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> is it all right. Um, is there anything that's new uh, with Milo's poultry farm? Um, so what he likes to stress is that even the be Regardless of what farm it is, they all run the same regulations. Um, they go with the same feed recipes that he sends them. They make sure that the farms, um, as soon as the eggs are harvested, they go into the coolers. They okay. stay in the coolers until the truck picks them up. The truck will pick them up once a week, bring them over to Milo's, and they go directly into the coolers again until they're processed okay. by the okay. workers. Yeah, That's great. And then each carton, if you look, they have the lot number on them, and each farm number is on there. So if there's an issue with the egg, they can trace it right back to that farmer. Okay. And then they can work with that farmer to improve whatever needs to be improved. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, so you were telling a story about uh, there was a farmer that had you know maybe some minor issues and stuff like that mm -hmm. and then Milo went to his farm and actually helped him well yeah so he he worked with the farmer they did it all on by by telephone they okay. worked in and um, so he he worked with the farmer figured out what the issue was um, gave him instructions on what he needed to do and instantly he could tell the difference with his eggs okay yeah that's incredible because I mean especially if if, if a company has a waiting list for people for farmers sure. that want to get on their program Program, sure. Um, for him to take the time to, you know, time out of his busy day, I'm sure, you know, right. um, to to teach this farmer his ways and teach sure. them how to how to improve because he, you know, obviously wanted to stay right. with him. So that's, right. that, and, and, that yeah. says a lot about Yeah, and the Milo farmer and was farms. really, really wanted to learn how to do it. Yeah. Sure, yeah. sure. Awesome. Yeah. Um, do you like apples? I love apples. You love apples? Okay, good, good. Um, is there anything else that we should know about Milo's poultry? Um, no, it's just a really good egg. Yeah, a good oh, egg. Oh, that. I like it. I like it. She brought jokes too, apparently. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much thank for coming. You. I really appreciate you, you guys coming down here. Um, yes, we have uh, Milo's Poultry Farms eggs, uh, organic eggs, yep. omega-3, um, uh, available right here at Jacob's Meat Market. Um, Once you have them, you won't go back. Right, you right. You will not go back to another egg. Different color egg. yolk yeah. as, well, as well, right? Yeah, very creamy. Yes, very yeah. creamy. All right, awesome. Yep. All right, uh, we will be right back. out Luke and Eric I think, I think we have sound yeah. as well we're in the right we're in the right spots too are we in the right spots yeah I could switch that we could switch <laughs> yeah we could uh, those are the only eggs I bought <clears throat> is it uh, the Milo's eggs. do you steal other ones or well I've been known uh, no those are the eggs that I buy and use and okay. they are superior Superior. Yes. Okay. Superior to all other eggs. Right. And available right here at Jacob's Meat Market. What's the tagline? 
More than meat. More than meat. Eggs. Eggs, apparently, for example. So it, so I didn't know that they pull from 25 different farms. You I was learned assuming, that today. Yes, I did. It, and it's amazing every week that we do these, that, you know, the different stuff that I learn from, from interviewing these Even people. Even you have things to learn? Barely. Barely. Yes. Yeah, that's a lot of farms. Yes. And she said all over Wisconsin. Right. And they pick up once a week. 30,000 dozen. That's, I, I can't even do the math. Don't even want to do the math. So, a lot. And you sell half of those, right? Is that what you said? At least. I think you said less than 1%. Yes. But I think it's 1%. That was math. We didn't, 30, we didn't want to do math. 3,000 and 300. He's going to do the math. 0.1%. Point one tenth of 1%? Yes. Oh, okay. So uh, a drop in the bucket. Yes. Special days. Special days. But they still care about us enough to come do this podcast. Yeah. 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 She was very nice. Very nice. very nice, yes. What was her name again? Barbara. Nice. <laughs> very good memory. Phew. You want to get in here, please? Oh, go right ahead. I'm going to do special days. Okay. Since I'm right in the middle of the camera. Sure. Today, Wednesday, August 16th. You, oh, it's your favorite day. National Tell-A-Joke Day. I thought that was every day. It is for you. It is for you. They just have to look at me. Saturday, August 19th is World Honey Bee Day. Oh. And you sell honey. We do. Made by bees. Yes. And local honey. Yes. Made by local bees. Correct. And Monday, August 21st is National, what do you say? Did you know that, did you, <laughs> did you know that uh, you, we're going to a joke Local now? honey, local honey is so good for you. Did you. Do you know why that is? You can Have start we told again. this before? <laughs> Probably. But. Have we? Why is local honey so good for you? Uh, so the bees that pollinate the flowers around here get the pollen and then they make the honey and then you ingest that honey and so therefore you have a build up a, a, a bigger tolerance to the pollen and everything around here. The so allergens. Allergens that are local to this area. Correct. Supposedly. There's a scientific fact. No, it's just what I was told. Just what you were told. By the honey producers? Yes. The bees themselves. Yes, the ones that were selling it to us. Speaking of Monday. Speaking of Monday. August 21st. Mundane or Monday? Monday. Monday, Monday. Monday. Okay. Uh, when we, in rehearsal, we read that as National Subpoena Day. <laughs> it's National Spumoni Day. You know what Spumoni, Spumoni is? Spumoni, yeah. I like Spumoni. That's one of my favorites. National Spumoni Day. What? It's I don't hard even to know find what it, it is. You don't know what Spumoni is? Oh. No. Ice cream. It's Italian, so it might be gelato, but it's the the multi-layer cherry, pistachio, chocolate. Pistachio or pistachio? Either one, yes. I hope they don't knock her camera over. Oh, if they knock the camera over, that'll be great. Great We're, TV. Great TV. Um, we did a do you like last week. I, I do like. Did I not make that clear? I don't. I wasn't <laughs> listening, and now I'm listening. I do very yes. much like, but it's okay. hard to find. Hard uh, to is find. it always the same flavors? No, no. Some people get crazy with it. Uh, so, but it's, if it doesn't have the cherry and the pistachio, it's not spumoni. Oh, okay. It's what is that, then? gelato? Me. I don't know if it is gelato. Okay. It might be ice cream, but it's delicious. I didn't know there was going to be a quiz. We'll just count to three. It's that? your fault. <laughs> it's your fault for bringing it up. Tell us about this giveaway. Which you giveaway? Your, you and your daughter did a giveaway last week. I know nothing about it. <laughs> How did you type it up, then, if you know nothing about it? You think I typed this? <laughs> yeah. I know I didn't. What were you giving away? We were giving away one block of 18-year-old white cheddar cheese. Oh, is that something you're if selling? If you so wish. Yes, we do. What do you mean, if you so wish? Well, if you want if two years. If, two year if or that's the, too, yeah. If it's I think I saw a 16-year-old. Yes. Have you ever tried them all? One year, two uh, year? I have. Up to 32 we had. Ooh. 32 year old. And it is was there too, a difference? It's too, yes. Oh, there's yes. a big difference. Yes. It was too strong for me. Too strong for you? Yes. So the older it is, the, the more like, uh, uh, I don't know if you want to say grainy or like penicilly. Pen, oh, really? penicillin -y. Is that a word? I mean, you seem to be the word guru. I'll allow it. <laughs> penicillin -y. But does it get no crystals in it? Or yes, it crystally. Yes. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's so it's not, it's not penicillin. Mold. No, yeah. it's not mold. And, and more flavorful. Yes, definitely. So much so that Sharper. you didn't care for it. Uh, it was too too flavorful for me. Too flavorful yes. for you. Last week, you asked people to, to comment and say what their favorite segments are. Oh, yes. And, and we got I some recall comments. That. Yes. Uh, Jenny says, this special guest segment on today's episode is my fave thus far. And that was your 
extended family. That's not even your extended. It's just a small portion of uh, your family. Uh, you said 10% of our <laughs> yeah, who, who apparently don't even care for you very much. Right. right? You're nobody's favorite uncle. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who's your favorite daughter? All of them. Uh-huh. Good answer. They Robert. Don't watch, they don't watch anyway, so I could, I could say one of them. And I bet I bet I'd get back Then they'd to them. watch. They'd yeah, watch. right. <laughs> Robert says, love the family environment and how everyone is included. Was everyone included? Uh, not everybody. Your mother was not coming on the camera. Right. Yeah. Well, obviously not everybody was included because it's only 10%. Everyone who was here. Right. Who wanted to be on camera. And a few who didn't. Right. Who were included. Right. <laughs> Vicky yes. says, this is my favorite show because of your sweet kids and nieces. How about that? You should just have them on every week. We should. Then it'll be everybody's Sorry, favorite show. I'm, I'd be happy. Very happy. But when they go back to school, it's a little tougher. We could take the camera to school. We could. Yeah. Chris, We'd have to go to a lot of definitely schools. favorite uncle segments from today. That was genius. <laughs> Thanks, was Chris. Genius. They were good. Darren says, my fave segment would be when you had Shane from Breadsmith on because I love the multigrain bread they sell. And it's available it's right segment. over here. Yeah, Shane was a good guest. Yeah. Kim says, thank you. I don't know for what. I think it was because he won the... Uh, oh, the, the, Kim the, won. Yeah. You're welcome. The contest last week, yes. Karen says, can't pick a favorite segment. It's all good. Wow. And we have a winner. Suck up. What a who, suck won, up. who won? Who uh, won? Alicia. Won. Alicia won the 18-year-old white cheddar cheese. And what yes. was Alicia's comment? Alicia said, loved seeing the family, your family. What a great segment. It was a good segment. It was a, it was it was a great, it segment, was a great apparently. segment, apparently. It was a good segment. I agree. You with your microphone. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, how does Alicia pick up this cheddar cheese? Alicia, just come on down. Come on down. Yeah. <laughs> that was the prices, right? Do that again. I, ca I can't. Are we doing another contest? Absolutely. Absolutely. What should the prize be? Uh, one dozen Milo's eggs. Uh, free? Free. Free, as in prize. That's, that's the prize, yes. How should people enter to win this amazing dozen of Milo's eggs? Yes. Uh, so, they can come on uh, to our website. On YouTube or Facebook? <laughs> leave them alone for one Why minute. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> Why don't you leave tell a them comment all they on yes. this video. Okay. You can comment either uh, in YouTube or on Facebook. What shall they tell us? Uh, their favorite way to prepare eggs. Ah, that's. What are some of the options? Do you think? Uh, well, raw. Raw. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest it. Okay. Uh, you, you Unless you're like a bodybuilder scrambled. like me, right? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Don't know where that's going, but fine. I'll, I'll play along. I'm not listening to you anyway. Scrambled. Uh, sunny side up, over easy, over medium, over hard, hard boiled, soft boiled, poached. Omelet? What about an omelet? That's a way. That's a way to prepare an egg. But, but there's other ingredients. But you have to that. scramble it first, I suppose, huh? You have to mix it. And scramble it. No, no. What, what part of the scrambling process is the scrambling process? Mixing it. Is it mixing? Or is it the scrambling in the pan? Yes. No. Oh, you, who scrambles it in the pan? Don't you mix it around in the pan? No, you scramble it in the pan. Yes, that's the scrambling process. <laughs> gotcha. Why don't you read your line out there? All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. the other one? The other one. We'll let you do that next week. Okay, all right. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll be back again next Wednesday. What do you think? I'll be here. Yeah, okay. Next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. with another live broadcast of BSTV. Please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Um, come visit us at the store at the corner of Law and Pacific Street in Appleton, Wisconsin. Uh, we're open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Yeah. 8 till 6. Yeah, off on Sundays. See you next week. Thank you.